first of all, thank you for being here. What, what proof that, that non-ALK has arrived other than a room full of people in the middle of a wonderful booze expo? Um, I'm gonna talk about the, the rise of the category, some of the attributes of the non-ALK consumer, um, size of the prize, and kind of where this category is going. But I'll start with the question I was asked just a minute ago, which was, what was it like starting a non-ALK company in 2018, 2019, um, new category, new market, new market fit, impending pandemic, yada, yada, yada. <clears throat> so we'll do all that. Going to be fun. And these guys are awesome. It's going to be a really good hour here. So right before I got here, I was, I live in Chicago. I'm walking through Horner Park and this trio of bicyclists is coming up behind me. And I turn around and it's this mom, this dad, and this little girl. And little girl's got this helmet on and her training wheels big grin, just living her best life. And as she begins to pass me, I hear her say, this is even better than I thought it would be. She, everyone's smiling, we're all happy. About 20 yards ahead of me, this elderly couple is, is walking, and sure enough, little girl, bam, right into him. They scream, they're surprised, she's bawling, a bunch of us run over there, no one's hurt. And then about 20 seconds, she says, I want to do it again. She's back on her bike, wee, taking off. And that's exactly what it was like to start a non-out company right before a <laughs> pandemic. And it wouldn't have it any other way. It's been, it's been absolutely wonderful. Um, so, so why non-out? Why are we doing this at all? Well, the lifestyle reasons are both obvious and not. For every person drinking non-out, there's another reason to drink non-out. You're dieting, you're driving, you're making a baby, you're the doctor on call, you're a pilot. You're just taking a mindful moment and having a healthsome time. But about 82% of our consumers aren't sober. They're also buying alcohol. Non-alc is an additive category. It's an and, it's a higher cart rank. Um, the, the sober curious mindful crowd is huge and growing. Alone, they're enough to drive this category forward, but they're far from alone. Most consumers are doing both, taking periods of non-alc along with their alcohol consumption. The reasons to drink NA are absolutely endless. <clears throat> so, um, that's the kind of why in the, in the lifestyle perspective. The other why is the reason some of you guys are here, why the, the business reasons. So IWSR pegged non-ALK as a $11 billion category in 2022. Anytime you're talking in the billions, you're onto something. You're doing something right. Um, that is only going to grow, but I believe that that number is just the very, very tip of the iceberg. Now, we often compare liquor alternatives, NA beer, et cetera, to dairy alternatives. Both are very inclusive. Um, both allow you to do the thing you want to do your way. It is damn near impossible to change consumer behavior. You can't do it. If you could, there'd be one diet, one exercise machine. They would all work. Everyone would feel great. That's not the case. You can change what somebody holds in their hand while they exhibit their preferred behavior. If you want to have coffee, but you don't want dairy milk, you have options now. If you want to drive a car, but don't want to consume gasoline, you have options now. If you want to buy a diamond, but don't want a blood diamond, you have options now. If you want a pizza, but are gluten-free, you have options now. You can do all of that. And if you want a cocktail or a beer, and you don't want alcohol, you have lovely options now. Alternatives are a huge business. And um, for context, that number is almost the exact same size as the luxury watch category. I'm a big fan of that category. But think, Patek Philippe, Omega, Rolex, it is a massive industry. Dairy alternatives are already there, and liquor alternatives are going to dwarf dairy alternatives. And here's why. Ritual and non-out companies appeal to every single conceivable demographic. Everyone for different reasons. Gen Z, millennials, Gen X, boomers, for a wide variety of reasons. Boomers, medication, longevity, they're thinking about their health. Gen Z, millennial, they are miles ahead of Gen X and boomers when it comes to replacing traditional alcohol with alternatives, miles ahead. The, the younger generations are proving to be the most mindful consumers we've ever had. And what do you call those 
younger millennials and Gen Zers, the, the future. You, you, call them, you call them the future of consumerism. Why is it working? Why is it going to be a bigger category? Well, for a few reasons. I'm 45. I grew up listening to bands like Oasis, watching Noel and Liam Gallagher chug whiskey on stage. This generation, they're streaming Jack Harlow and Sean Mendez singing about not drinking. Younger generations have a different relationship to alcohol than any generation in history. The future is changing. They are the most mindful consumers. Has alcohol lost its cool? Eh, that's a stretch, that's a long way. But for a lot of people, it's a conscious choice to take on moments of sobriety. Why? Well, it's thoughtful, it's healthy. All the reasons I listed before, and because their idols are doing it. Tom Holland, freaking Spider-Man. He just announced he was sober for 500 days. He's 27 years old. When I was 27 years old, I did not know of a single sober celebrity. I wasn't sober, and I didn't know anybody who was. It has changed dramatically. Look at this list. Natalie Portman, Tyler the Creator, Zac Efron, Bradley Cooper, Lana Del Rey, Calvin Harris, Kendrick Lamar, Brad Pitt. Oh my God, the list keeps going on. Kids, younger generations, idolize people and follow that behavior. This is happening. It's happening right now, and they deserve to have these wonderful options that we are now providing. And you see it everywhere. You see these guys, these celebrities, talking about it on social media platforms, podcasts, in books. You're seeing the rise of non-alc bottle shops and pop-up bars. Cultural revolution. It's not just a moment in time. It is a movement that's happening across the globe. So what's the future of NA look like? The future is going to be really fun. The future is that everywhere you can buy a whiskey or a beer, you can have a non-alc version of the same thing. Remember when fruit roll-ups and Kool-Aid were the healthy option? That time, that time has passed. And only having one thing, alcohol, has passed. The future is changing. It absolutely is. But you know what's not changing? How we socialize. Where we go, where we meet. We will always go to the pub. We will always go to the club. We will always go to the bar. We will always go to the lodge at free ski. And, and when you go there now, you have the option of what you drink. You will be included in that cheers. You will be included in that hug. You will have the option of drinking as much or as little alcohol as you want when you participate in my favorite ritual, which is looking your family and your best friend in the eye and saying, cheers. Thank you.